Hello everybody out there in YouTube land and welcome to DC Fans United. So we got a big update on the Batwoman show that is going to be coming to the CW. So I'm sure you've probably heard by now Ruby Rose is going to be playing Batwoman. What we didn't know up until today however is that we now have the actress cast to play Alice. So Alice is a villain and is going to be the antagonist antagonist for Batwoman in the first episode. So this is a really good idea, I think, primarily because Alice is a long-running, well, fairly long-running Batwoman villain. She first appeared during Greg Rucka and J.H. Williams III's run during their Detective Comics run. So Alice is actually, she's Kate Kane's long-lost sister. So her name is Elizabeth Kane, and the, everyone thought she had died when she was a child. But she didn't die, and she grew up to become a villain. So she actually has this gang, which is like a Lewis Carroll, you know, Alice in Wonderland themed gang. So some people have likened Alice to be essentially Batwoman's Joker. Like anything, it's a little more complicated than that, especially since they are literally sisters. But I think it's a very strong choice for the first episode, or for the pilot episode, I should say. But I'm pretty sure this series is going to get picked up. They've you know, they've got like seven uh, comic book shows. I'm sure having one more in their universe is something they don't have a problem with. And if anything, they'd probably cancel one of their older shows then not approve this one, I would think. So in any case, the actress they chose, this Rachel Scarston, has been an actor on the CW for quite a while, an actress on the CW. She played on shows like Lost Girl and uh, Queen Elizabeth on and she has also played other characters and believe it or not she has even been in a dc comics show before you'll remember that she played black canary in the short-lived birds of Prey TV series, which ran in 2002. Even though that series only had a few episodes, it still has a strong fan following. So I think this is a really strong choice for an actress to pick to really launch the show along with Ruby Rose, who I also think is a, you know, a good choice for Batwoman. You know, we'll have to see more of her, but I thought she did really good in the uh, first appearances she had on the other CW shows during the crossover events, which was also a good way to introduce her as a new character, I thought. So again, it's really positive. Uh, looks like a good casting choice for from everything I can see. You know, I am impressed that they are promoting from within, so to speak. I mean, it makes sense from their standpoint, too, because they know she is a solid actress and that she's played comic book roles before, as well as lots of other TV roles. So this ought to be pretty good, and I'm looking forward to checking out the first episode. I'm not exactly sure when it's gonna be airing but we've been finding out more and more about it as time goes so i'm really curious to see what happens with this and what do you think about it are you uh, looking forward to checking out batwoman do you have any thoughts about what it's gonna be like i am encouraged that they are going with a uh, comic book canon right out of the gate. It's New 52, but it seems like a lot of what we see in DC's media as far as movies and shows comes from the New 52, so it makes sense, and it's nice that they are using a villain that was made specifically for Batwoman, as opposed to just, you know, taking one of Batman's C-tier villains. And I imagine we'll see some of those if the sheer series the last for a season or more, but it's nice to have them focus just on Batwoman and, in this case, her sister as well. So that's all for now. Thanks for watching. Really appreciate it. Be sure to hit the bell for notifications. Be sure to subscribe if you haven't. And as always, thank you for watching and being a part of DC Fans United. End of line.